This started off as a first impression video of the new Makita multi-tool which I have here and then it quickly descended into a video about the blade system as I got more and more confused about multi-tool <laughs> blades. So now that's what this video is about because that is what I think is the most important thing about this new Makita multi-tool. This is the new Makita multi-tool. Lockdown Scott Brown here. Now before we talk about this multi-tool, this is another sponsored video by Squarespace. And now that I'm locked down, I really appreciate that Squarespace is sponsoring this video. And I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Let's talk about the multi-tool. Now I renovate houses for a living, and if I could pick one tool that probably gets the most use, it's a multi-tool. We use it for demolition, we use it for finishing timber. It's very versatile. Now Makita let me borrow this 18 volt Makita multi-tool and we're in lockdown here in New Zealand. So this is a first impressions video. I am also turning this into an unfair comparison between the old Makita and my favourite, the Bosch. But first, let's see what's new for the Makita DTM-5 II. The weight, feel and size is completely different. Noise, they've reduced the noise that this thing makes. Now if you have the Makita DTM-51, you will be stoked to see that they have added an LED light. They've reduced vibration. And the uh, speed changing dial here, it isn't clicky anymore. It's pretty minor, but the old one had a sort of clicky every single time you went from one to two to three, it clicked a little bit. And the new one, it's just smooth. The most important improvement in my eyes, the way you change the blade is completely different. Now, uh, before we have a look at each of these changes, I want to explain why I'm bringing the Bosch into the mix. Now, I use a lot of Makita tools. I bought into their battery platform many years ago. Once you buy into one battery system, you tend to buy the tools that fit those batteries. However, I switched over to a Bosch multi-tool for one reason. So I could use these multi-tool blades, the Starlock multi-tool blades. And that, for me, is where this Makita multi-tool gets interesting. If you look at that right there, Starlock Max. So now that Makita and Bosch have a bit more in common, I'm interested to see where they differ. So the weight and feel of this thing. Surprisingly, it's about the same height as the old one, but the shapes are completely different. If you look at the head there, the old one is a lot more thin, slimline, and it resembles the Bosch a lot more. Whereas this new Makita is chunky. It feels good in the hand though. They've obviously made an effort to narrow down the handle so it still is manageable in your hand. So because of that, it's kind of like a little dumbbell or something. <laughs> They've also brought the weight down despite how chunky it looks. The weight of my old Makita is 1.8 kilograms. I think that's without the battery as well. And the new one comes in at 1.3 without the battery. And just out of interest, the Bosch is the lightest of all three at 1.2 kilograms. And the battery goes on side on, which uh, I prefer the ergonomics of that. Now, we're in lockdown here in New Zealand, so I'm going to respect my neighbours. They live in a shared building here, so I'm not going to turn this thing on. But I do have a clip from when Makita first gave it to me. It's so quiet. <sighs> The highest level too. It's so quiet. Obviously, as soon as you put a blade in there and you start cutting things, like if you cut metal, that volume's gonna go right up there, but they've definitely brought the volume down. Now my other Makita has a light as well, so that wasn't new to me, and the Bosch also has a light. But if you have the DTM-51, this will be a welcome improvement. The 51 has a lever like this, right? But it's down the front. So now that they have the lever on the side, similar to the Bosch, they're able to put that light there. Now if you have seen any of the promo for this multi-tool, 
One of the big things they seem to be focusing on is the vibration, or rather the anti-vibration of this new multi-tool. All you gotta do is look at it. If you look at the old one, there's a lot less rubber, all around the handle especially, and down by the battery. Whereas this new one, they've got rubber everywhere, especially by the handle, and they've got these giant bumpers at both the top here and the bottom. Partly that will be to protect the tool, but it's also anti-vibration. And if you saw their videos, they put like a glass of water here and turn the tool on and the water barely moves. But yeah, it's also for us as builders. So if you, if you want something else to worry about in the long list of safety concerns as a builder or an electrician or a plumber or whatever you're using this multi-tool for, maybe you're DIY, it doesn't matter. Either way, you're feeling vibration from the tool when you use it. That can lead to damaged blood vessels, that can lead to damaged joints. After a long day, that could just lead to a tingling feeling in your hands. Has anyone else got tingly hands? On that job there, we had to pull up all the floorboards of one room, and Rich was basically under the house with a multi-tool, cutting nail after nail over and over. And uh, yeah, you, you feel it after a while. It helps with accuracy if you're trying to cut a line, the tool's not going like that and it helps with your overall health. Now, the thing that interests me most about this multi-tool is the blade change. But first... Can you please open this for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. So what's on the menu today, Chef Jess? Don't just call me Chef Jess, I'm not, I can't replace Pido. <laughs> um, just burgers. As soon as this burger is ready, I'm going to try and explain this blade change to Jess. Because if I can explain it to Jess and I can explain it to you, that's how I figure it anyway. As soon as I looked into it, I, I was getting confused immediately, so... Before we eat this delicious burger here, <laughs> this is the old Makita multi-tool, right? Mm -hmm. And you see all the prongs on there? Yeah. That is how you hold the blade on. That and a bolt. And that bolt needs an allen key to screw that blade on. Mm -hmm. The blade looks like this. See the hole? Okay, that's clear, right? The Bosch came along to the party with their new type of blades. It, by the way. I'm sure it is. The Bosch came along to the party with their new type of blades. The Starlock, and their one clips on like this. Sorry, how did the other one clip on? The other one went on, and then you put a bolt in the middle. No, I remember now. You tied yep. in the bolt up. Yep. But this one, you just clip it on. And then to take it off, you just unping it like that, and the blade pops off. Okay. So now, Makita, the new one, they're like, we want to get on that Starlock thing. And then they incorporate the lever as well. But you can't. Make them pop off. Yeah, but they've also added a pin. This is where it gets crazy. So they've done Starlock, but they've added a pin. Why? I'll tell you. <laughs> I was confused by this. I thought it was just Makita being silly. But now I've realized it's so they can put all three of the Starlock type blades on that one multi-tool. Sorry, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> My Bosch one. Sorry, the blades are different. Yeah, there's three of them. My burger's getting cold, so I better hurry up. There's three different types, right? See how they're all different? Uh, hold on. Three different types of multi tool. Yeah. All three of them fit in the Bosch. No, only two of them. But they all fit in the Makita, so long as you have the pin? That's right. So the pin is the key. It doesn't actually talk like this. The, the lynch pin, it's, it's a lynch pin. It's the key. It holds all the different blades, and the Bosch one doesn't. If it's cordless, if you get a corded Sorry, Bosch... Sorry, but Bosch make the blades? Yes. But if you get a corded Bosch, you can use all three. So they want you to use the corded multi tool? No. <laughs> You've lost me! <laughs> and the corded one doesn't need a pin. So Bosch have done it without a pin, but you have to have a cord. And Makita have done it with a pin, but they've made it cordless. Okay. So a controversial question. What one do you prefer? Wow. I'm glad you asked. <laughs>
Oh, that lunch was delicious. Oh my God, it was so good. All right, let me try and explain it in a different way. This is the OAS system. You screw that shut, you get the Allen key, and you tighten it on. You know, I was happy with that until I started using Cameron's multi-tools. He's got both the Festool and the Bosch. The Bosch corded and the Festool. That's very similar to the way you put the blade on the Bosch. This one here. And the beauty of this, just watch this. That's it. That's how you put the blade on. So as soon as I used Cameron's one, I thought, I need to get that. That is so much more handy because with multi-tools, you don't just put the blade on and leave it. You often change the angles to get into different areas and you know, throughout the cut that you're doing. Now Makita have come along and they've been keen to jump onto the Starlock system, but they've gone and added this pin in here. What you have to do is you have to put the pin in and then this clamp grabs the pin somewhere in here and it does the same thing. You know, so it's still fairly quick, but you don't have that satisfying lock in place that the Bosch has. Bosch came up with these blades. They make all of them. They make these blades and they make these blades. They're the same blades. Makita just put their logo on it instead of Bosch. So obviously they pay Bosch for the Starlock system, like a licensing deal, which I am all for. You know, the more standardized these, you know, systems are, the better for us. In order to get a Starlock Max to fit your Bosch tool, you can't go cordless, you have to go corded. And I knew that when I was talking to Bosch about getting this, but uh, I like the convenience of cordless and that's why I went with this. Right. We look closely at those three different types of Starlocks. They're all different shapes and that is to prevent you from using the wrong blade for the wrong tool. Now Makita have gone, ah, screw that, we'll just put a pin that goes all the way through all three of them, and that will be what clamps the blades down. Kind of clever. So then I thought, have they got around like a licensing thing? Is that why they were able to do that? Sort of just jumped a hurdle there. But then I remembered that the Festool that I borrowed from Cameron has the same thing as the Bosch. It has the clip-on clamp thing that I love so much and it's cordless. So last night when I was on the computer trying to figure out what the heck was going on, I learnt about the oscillation degrees of a multi-tool. This is, this is where the descent into madness really kicked in. So this here is your any given multi-tool. In this case it's the old Makita. That's off center but that's fine. Imagine that is zero degrees. Now, all multi-tools have a oscillation number, oscillation degree number. Now, what that is, is left or right, it goes 1.6. Now, the Bosch's number is even less, it's 1.4. So that means the blade only goes 1.4 left and 1.4 right. Now, the new Makita has an oscillation degree of 1.8. So it goes over more to a total of 3.6. And you can use a Starlock Max blade when your oscillation degree can go to 3.6 or more. That can go like that on the corded and on the new Makita multi-tool. Kinda looks like a big finger, doesn't it? Just for the record, the Festool cordless does a oscillation degree total of four degrees. So maybe that's what all the extra money is for, I don't know. This is ridiculous. I was just about to end this exciting episode with the fact that they have found a way to make it affordable, cordless, and have all three Starlock blades. All you have to put up with is a pin, and then I lost the pin. When was the last time you had it? In here, in the bedroom. You sure? It'll be under something or something. Yeah. I found it, it was just under there. So as long as you don't lose the pin, that's a great solution. This is still kind of my favorite because of the pop on, pop off, but this can do all the blades. And you don't have to pay a festival price to get it. Now today's sponsor is Squarespace. Squarespace is an online website building platform. When we went to do a website, we realized we didn't know how to code and uh, 
we had to figure out a way and Squarespace was the answer. This was long before they decided to sponsor our channel so when they approached us it was an easy yes. I pride myself on the quality of the work that I do and the best way of showing that quality is via the website. Squarespace make that easy for me with features like their portfolios, galleries, automatic image scaling so it looks good on your phone and your computer and being able to connect your website to your social media accounts. So if you're keen to try it out, Squarespace also offer a free trial, so you have nothing to lose. Then once you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So there we go. What do you think? Do you think the Starlock's worth it? Do you think you'd go through all that trouble that I did to uh, investigate and get to the bottom of it? I'm not even sure if it's the bottom, so I'm, maybe Bosch or Makita can correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure that is how they came up with that system. I'm still confused, to be honest. Rich, Pardo and I have a multi-tool blade that we passed around between us. We renovated two houses with it, and it's still going. That thing has cut more nails than I can count, and it's starting to show its age a little bit, but it's still going. Whereas those OIS blades, couple of weeks and then it's all over so by the time you add up how many blades you're gonna buy there versus the one that we've held on to for two renovation jobs in Auckland I think these are better I think these are worth it and that's why I made this video all about them